What's popping, my pokey people? Ooh, look, I got dog hair. It's your boy Pokey Park, and today we're gonna go over the battle interface of Pokemon TCG Pocket with actual gameplay from me, your boy Pokey Park, in the newest app, Pokemon TCG Pocket. I released a video showing you how you can download it wherever you are besides New Zealand, because that's where it actually soft launched at early, because it doesn't release until October. 30th so go check that video out before we start though i'm gonna need you to check out my first immersive pokemon card pool being the charizard ex special illustration rare and when i tell you this card is absolutely stunning and all you have to do is hold the button in on the card and it takes you into a deep dive of like a an overview of a painting of a card so many different pokemon and then we got pidgeot carrying pikachu we got the venusaur we got psyduck in there and many many more so guys please enjoy this video hit that like drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel with notifications let's do this okay my pokey people so this is where you choose how you want to battle right now i'm doing solo because there's not really many people on this uh app yet i chose the rapid dash deck it's a pre-constructed deck gifted to you by a pokemon tcg pocket and obviously i'm going up against a grass deck <clears throat> so for pokemon tcg pocket it's ran similar to pokemon tcg live besides the fact that you don't have to put energies energy cards in your deck and you're only allowed to have 20 cards per deck but it's like that because the energies accumulate every turn right so you never have to worry about not having an energy to attach to your pokemon so this is really cool you still can't attack on your first turn and here you see i got my basic pokemon you're only allowed to have three pokemon on your bench and four pokemon total you're only allowed to have 10 cards in your hand and there's still trainer cards supporter cards item cards all that good stuff right so here i attach something to sizzlipede checking out magmore real quick and we're going to go ahead and add Heatmer to the bench. We're going to attack with Gnaw for 10 damage. Switch over to the uh, opponent. He attaches a Leaf Energy. Hits me with Peck for 20 damage. That hurt. But here we go. Attach Energy for turn. I'm going to give it to Heatmer. And I'm going to retreat for Heatmer. Considering he has more HP. And he hits a little harder. Bam. And then the end turn. It automatically ends your turn after you attack, just like TCG Live. So the 20 cards is just so the game plays a little faster. And it goes by points instead of prize cards. So that's really cool. Combustion. Hit Do Duo for the knockout. And here you go. You're going to see me get a point. There we go, Pokey Perk. And he's gets to now execute. Hit me for 20. But I'm strong against execute. So there's there's something good. Hits me with seed bomb. My turn. Sends out Raticate. Well, draw Raticate. Add an energy for turn. Add the Sizzlipede in case I pull Scorch Combustion. He's weak to fire. Instant knockout. Two points to ya boy keep it going he sends out rattata what's that gonna do besides nothing hits me with gnaw leaves me with 20 hp left no bueno attach energy for turn hit him with combustion leave him with 10 hp He's building up his Jigglypuff, and he knocks out my Heatmer. So now it's 2-1 me. 2-1 Pokey Perk. Of course, I'm going to send out my Scorch. He only has 10 HP left, so I don't really care about anything else. Just attack for turn and end the game. Yes, it sends you a reminder if you have a supporter card and never attach an energy for that turn. So you could do as you will with it. Right, and then it gives you the game overview of what card did the most for on each side. Really cool. You can get rewards from doing certain things. And obviously now I'm going to go up against the Charmeleon Genetic Apex deck. And I'm going to use the same 
deck. Flip a coin, I'm going second. You don't get to choose heads or tails. At least not for the beginner, because that's what I'm playing on beginner. Because I'm still building decks, I only have pre-constructed. But I'm going to put Heatmer up first. Sizzlipede on the bench, Ponyta on the bench. And do I want Rattata or Farfetch'd? We're going to put Rattata. And he sends out Jiggly Wiggly opponent's turn. So like I said, you cannot attack first turn. Or attach energy first turn. Which is wild because you don't accumulate any. My turn. Pokeball. And an energy. So go ahead and hit Pokeball because it finds you a basic Pokemon. And I pull a Pidgey. Attach energy for turn. And I'm going to use Combustion for 30 damage. Leaving Jiggly Wiggly with 30 left. Opponent's turn. Now he accumulates an energy. Attaches the Jigglypuff. And it's my turn. Why attach the Jigglypuff when you know it's about to get knocked out? Who knows? Professor's Research. Draw two cards, baby. Get a Sizzlipede and a Scent of Scorch. So you know we're going to add that Fire Energy to Sizzlipede. And we're going to evolve it into Scent of Scorch because he hits hard. Combustion and knock out the Jiggly Wiggly. Opponent's turn, but it's 1-0. Your boy Pokey Perk sends out Do Duo. The gameplay is very fast. It's very fun. I enjoy it. 20 damage to your boy. My turn. And I draw the Growlithe, attach a Fire Energy to Senta Scorch. Banger. And we're going to use Combustion for 30 damage, leaving Do Duo with 30 left. Okay, he's attaching to Rattata Wada. He's going to hit me with Peck, leaving me with 40 HP left. And it's officially my turn again. Pokeball. Attach the Scent of Scorch. And we're going to use Combustion and knock out this Doe Duo. 2 0, your boy Pokey Perk. He sends out Red Tata because he plans on knocking out my Heatmer. Right? Oh, he pulled a Sizzlepeed as well. Nah. Leaving me with 20 damage. What's your boy going to do? You already know. <clears throat> I'm going to attach to Senta Scorch and I'm going to retreat my Heatmer. Put Senta Scorch up so I can finish off this match. Goodbye, Rattata. I had to murk you. <clears throat> 3 0, ya boy. Pokey Perk is up in the game. Beauteous. Here's the overview of the match. Not very much to go by. But here we go. I'm going to play this Heliolisk deck from Genetic Apex. What deck am I going to use? The same one. I've never battled this deck yet. So we're going to see how it goes. And your boy is going second. Guys, if you're enjoying this video, please hit that like. Drop a comment down below and subscribe to your boy's channel with notifications. And tell me how you're feeling about Pokemon TCG Pocket. Remember, I posted a video showing you how you can download this early over a month early and start your gameplay now here we go i got far fetched out weak to lightning but your boy gets a head start on attacking so that's always good and his bench is built i draw a center scorch i'm going to attach energy for turn and i'm going to hit him for 40 Damage, leaving Voltorb with 20 HP left. Now the weakness is a little different than it is. It's not multiplied or anything like that. It's not double. It's just add 20. So I draw a Pokeball. Of course, I'm going to use it. Find me a basic Pokemon. And I get the Ponyta. Let's put that down because I got the Rapid Dash. Let's evolve into Raticate. And let's add a fire energy to eradicate. And then we're going to leak slap Voltorb into heaven with 40 more damage with the 20 HP overkill. 1 nil, your boy, Pokey Perk. And he's going to send out the Woo Lulu. Here we go. He puts Pika Wika Lika on the bench, attaches for turn, and now it's my turn. I draw a Pidgey. I'm going to attach a fire energy to that Ponyta, evolve it into Rapid Dizash, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to hit him for 40 with Leak Slap. 
leaving him with 30 left. So now he's going to attach for turn. The Wulu about to take your boy out. Goodbye, Farfetch'd. It is now 1-1. One, one. The match is set. I'm going to put out Rapid Dash because he got more HP than the Raticate, but hits just as hard. Professor's Research, draw two cards, see what we can get. We get another Professor's Research and a Jiggly Wiggly. So what I'm going to do is put a Jiggly Wiggly out there. Put a Fire Energy on Growlithe. And I'm going to hit your boy with Fire Main with the 10 HP overkill. 2-1, your boy, Pokey Perk. He puts out Pika Wika. He's going to attach for turn out to put another Pika on the bench. And he's going to hit me with Gnaw for 20 damage. Now it's your boy's turn. Let's do some damage. Draw a Rattata. Attach a Fire Energy for turn. Hit him with Fire Main. And it tells you again if you have a supporter card or didn't attach an energy for turn. Now I switch it over to the opponent. See what we're going to get. He hits me for 20 again. I got 60 left. It's your boy's turn. They only got 20 HP left. So you know I'm just going to hit him with that fire main. And I'm going to do a 20 HP over kill. Beauty is your boy won 3-1. Pokey Perk for the victory with the Rapid Dash. Guys, go ahead and hit that like. Drop a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel with notifications. And support yo boy. Peace.